He did, well, or, but... or perhaps they scrambled, like, wait, who are we playing in the grand finals again? Who? Oh, geez, lacking time. Oh, okay. Okay. Legion Commander. More illusion clear. Uh, if it's able to remove the silences off the OD as well. Luna is still free farming in that top lane, though. I'd be very concerned if I were asking him. And Skylark is out of HP regeneration in that top lane. He's getting bullied out by Fly and No Tail. He could potentially die over here. I mean, yeah, with this Shadow Word and Lucy being Skylark, he's going to drop incredibly low. He's, he's starting to come back in with a battery assault. Cog's down, but it doesn't matter. First flood there for OG. Fly will take the kill. No tail gets himself back to safety at the same time. Mid lane, Anna. For a bit of a setup onto Thug. Jarax trying to come in, waits out the phase shift in the orb, but. Is your prime kill target, but the wrapping around behind on Thug. Earth Spirit with a 1 1 1 build. He has to be able to get the roll into the silence. He's got to get the perfect, perfect timing silence. here, Jarax. And TP across will be there. Goes for the silence first into the stun, and they will try and take him down with Spire. He's there for the disruption, Thug. He off. He face shifts. He's out. The right clicks will do it, though, Anna. Finishes off Buck in the mid lane. Spotted trying to punish out his play, but Anna pulls up and he's even thinking about turning around it with the DD. He goes to spot, but Spire gets the final touch. And Anna playing a little too aggressively for his own good there. Throws away his life. Cox has the backup of MNT. Jarex and Notel aren't going to go in any deeper. Spartan scouts out flying the river, and he knows that they're coming in. It's about to be six minutes. Can Spartan get the top down? Right, coming in onto Jarex, but he immediately silenced this guy like a return. Matter of moving down. He's going to gust up Jarex. And Jarex, he's good enough dead. And Notel, he could be in trouble as well. MNT a little low on the mana, though, so can't dive forward. Matter of sees if he could get a reach in. Motel will survive Salva. Meanwhile, back towards the mid lane. Thug takes down Anna with the help of Spartan. The cast point of duel, like versus a very easy to uh, to escape hero like the Puck. Sometimes Shadow Blade is a uh, oh, top lane matter. I kind of caught out here. Motel not messing around. Goes straight in with the Eclipse and takes him out. A little too far away from any sort of creep wave or backup. Supports in and supports out, and if there isn't a support there, the other team will just sweep in and get that huge kill. Again in the mid lane, Astral has been used, and that is going to be a bit of the opening for Thug to try and make a go. Goes to the old Dukes out the smash there with a the face, jumps across to Anna. He's got two stacks of poison. The science as well, bringing the OD low. Anna, he should pop to this, and he will. They'll get the kill on the OD. They'll now look to the Jarrett, and they've got the setup as well. Spartan with the disruption. They'll take down the second at minimum. With a beautiful duo of plays there. But still, I mean, at this stage of the game, I guess there's certainly both both teams have positives to take away from this early beginnings, but... Ad Finham suddenly making the plays happen and they're not stopping yet. Oh, Mid lane Skylark with the hook shot immediately coming in on the fly and indeed seven experience away from the six there. So no chance for Fly to offer anything in sorts of a, a turnaround and in fact S4 comes forward. Million dollar dream car kind of hitting him back as uh, oh, he's been caught out. The eclipse comes through, but the disruption for Sutton, it may just save Thug. No, there's Jerax with the timing, gets the smash and the silence out. So, despite Spartan's best efforts, Thug will not be saved. They want to use the rock. He does have the rock, yeah. The Adfin, they'll surely be aware of this. They'll see that the fly is level six. S4 starting to come across, but it's all warded out. Collision of this area, Spartan immediately just holding him back. Mass TP is now coming through from Adfinim. They want to try and fight this demonic purge. Drop Jeff straight down onto S4. He tries to purge it off, but that ain't gonna happen, son. With the press, the attack, he's out. Fly now in a bit of a sticky pursuit situation. Anna will try and save him for the time being with the Astral, but he's surrounded by Adfinim. They'll take down the wall though. Anna's trying to TP out. He was off. In fact, he stops. He looks towards Thug. He's trying to turn it around with the help of No Tail and Jerex. Thug falling low. Silence though, Jerex should be able to find the book and he will. But at the same time, it's 2 for one at the moment. Anna's falling incredibly low. Heads down towards the south on the retreat. OG starting to turn this one around potentially. MNT still about. No tail and Jarax. A little too high for them to finish off. The best rune for the LC right now. Now, as we can see, though, Ad Finham sort of fortunate here in their movements. They're actually looking down towards the bottom. They know that Anna's alone. Anna's going to try for the TP out, but there's the vision. And Skylar just casually walks in, has the, the battery assault. And I don't think there's any escape here for this OG. There's no TPs coming through. OG just letting Anna die here in this situation. There's no way they can save him. Is that worth losing a T1 tower in your mid, though? OG seen him place a ward, too. Things coming through, though, now into the mid lane. Anna moving across. Anna has got the sentry ward down. Will pick up MNT and start to hammer into him. And in fact, jumping in with the duel, S4 will catch the bug out. And that Sentry Ward certainly paying off there. They get the kill and they also get that tasty bonus damage for S4.
Well, up top, the fight's not over yet. It's Jarax hunting for Spartan. The pings will come out. They know he's there, but Spartan's already headed off to the side. He will get silenced up. No tail and Jarax surrounding him. Spartan know where he lives out of this one. He will be taken down. So OG not only finding that kill in the mid lane, and he was in the neighborhood as well, but the two members of OG deciding to not take that fight. S4 walks into Observer Ward range. Yeah, they know he's here. Madara closing the gap with the Shadow Blade, but immediately S4 blinks back. Madara jumps forward here with the Hurricane Bite, trying to finish him off. But with the Blade Mail and the Shadow Word, is it going to be enough to save him? The Rock, it will. They keep S4 alive. The question is if OG can find anything in return. The Land of Lucid Beam onto Madara. Madara falling over the good call from Thug. Holds back OG, and Madara will be allowed to escape there. Wow, do you farm a little bit too? Because he's not going to be as strong at taking Ancients. I'll see if they find the opportunity to use it here in this mid lane push. Yeah, I think you just drop it on S4 as the rock comes out. And by the time you like base shift or Shadow Blade, the oh. damage is going to be done. Trying to make an initiation here. And there we have it. They drop down on the AoE off the ground and it pummels through them. You get a beam, you get a beam, and everyone gets a beam. No tail. Knocking down both of them. They're probably what the hell just <laughs> happened <laughs> right Matt, there. He could be in trouble as well. Will be stunned up. A sentry's dropped as well. Jarex has eyes on him and he's back up and he's going to get in the form of Anna and fly immediately with the time lapse. But Anna, he gets the astral setting him in place. Silence is there as well. And they'll find themselves a third. OG. Incredible ingenuity there. Spartan's in a perfect place to pop it, and he has the Observer War, so... Yeah, yep. this is really smart position. Immediately just TPs out as soon as he senses danger. Skylark as well, walking himself away. And a try to jump forward. Will get the Astral. They will manage to get the lock on this. S4 closes the gap. Ooh, oh, no! <laughs> Skylark hook shots away, and the drive-by stun holding S4 back, meaning no jewel to hold him in place. Very, very smoothly done there by Skylark and, and just overall, as you said, Spartan's positioning means that gank was not going to find a kill. Why don't they? Jarek's trying to fight up against MNT. Will hold back the Weaver with a stun. Anna is there to back him up with the sentry drop. They should find this kill. MNT trying to keep himself alive with the time. That's trying to get out of range of the sentry as well. He will manage to keep his, himself safe. Jarek goes for the swing. Oh, and he shoots and he scores. Jarek finds him in the tree line. So they will punish the Weaver. Despite MNT's best efforts to get outside of the range of that sentry. Press the attack a little bit, like right oh, as no, he, he go, comes yeah, out. Yeah, he goes for both. He tries yeah. to lay down the Q as well before the duel. He didn't think there was any way that he was going to escape. <laughs> but didn't expect the hook shot. Oh, okay, no tell. He didn't expect it either. He's trying to turn around and cast the ultimate of sorts. There will be a chaotic offering buying him time to get out of there. Now no tell turns. One loose and beam to the head and they find the kill. Fly. There with the support to allow no tail to escape and turn that venture around. And they might have by done yet, OG. Jarex moving forward, Spartan behind the tower. He'll actually disrupt himself, but S4 and Jarex, they're wrapping around. S4 really wants to find some sort of a duel. This time he'll get it. The two of them catching out Spartan. A nice plus 42 damage now in S4's bank. OG again, they're just going from kill to kill ballers where they jump forward. They found the lockdown on Madara. They drop down the Eclipse Aghanim's ultimate from No Tail. And there really is no escape from that Spartan. They'll know that OG. They're out and away from the pit. Deso now picked up by MNT as well. So Abfinum can make incredibly short work of this. Matter of Hurricane Pikes into the pit. Hook jumps towards where Jarex is there. He's trying to look for Matter. He kind of jukes him out there on the vision edge of the pit. They've got the ward down. He shadow plays Matter. He gets himself away. The Samus is good. It's not enough to finish him off. S4 does find the bleak jewel onto the SD. Jarex finishes off Matter. So OG get the two kills that are crucial. They'll go back in. Abfinum still want to try and do anything about this. They do have Dream Call. Hookshot, of course, are off, off on cooldown. Doug, will he make an attempt for a big old play? He's going to jump. He goes for the silence, but immediately Jerax is there with the reactions. The silence of the beatdown. OG, take the kill, take the Aegis. And Jerax, he was ready for that puck play. Like Luna is incredibly strong. I'm pretty sure she could probably uh, team wipe. All five of them, and imagine that with Fatal Bonds, that's oh going to be my disgusting. Goodness. No, here we go, Anna. He's just picked up the Hex and using it there to help out S4. But yet another successful dual win. In terms of defending their buildings. Doug might get hexed up here. They do need to use the Force Staff to pop the Lincolns. There we go, roll forward. Jarrett's looking for the initial control. He's got the sun, he's got the stun, dropping everything down. They'll shove him back. Here come the Bulls of Fury from Anna. Too many pickoffs on the side lanes. Adfinum trying to stall this game out, but they're just giving up way too many kills in the process.
No tail out alone. This could be a big eclipse from them. If they try and engage, they're trying to wrap around from behind. This is a risky fight for Athenim to take S4. Pops the BKB, looks towards Spawn, immediately locking down the Shadow Demon, winning another duel. Now he'll turn towards Madara, chasing down the Drow Ranger, who's trying to turn, trying to fight. He will go for the BKB TP out and will indeed get himself away successfully. Well, like, where's their burst coming from? There's no Dagon on the puck this game, which he's gone for in the past few. And here comes the push. OG, ready to go in, full force, they'll get the silence, the Hex now drop down onto a second, they'll find not just the Spartan, a Skylark as well, that's two out for Abfinim, and OG will be able to make short work here of this mid set of racks, though. Just dropping down the veil, nothing more as of yet, and no -Tail still has that double ultimate at his disposal, he doesn't even need to use it at this stage, it's just the threat of it that holds Abfinim back and allows OG to get those racks absolutely smashed in the mid lane. With his uh, scepter, it it just destroyed that first fight and oh, was just a do not pass sign in any of these team fights. They know that he's hiding here. They have that ward down. They know he came down the lane. They're hunting from a jacks. He'll find him. Eclipse dropped down into the tree line. No tail and Jerax making it happen. Shiva's car picked up by Anna as well. There's no way that they can get over really. I mean, they, they've got. Skylark in the neighborhood, but no one else is is attending. I mean, he could try for something. And he is, he is going to try for it, oh, but he doesn't get it. Fly picks up the Aegis, Skylark loses his life. Nice try. Valiant attempt I mean, you, you have to go for these plays, I guess, when you're, you're kind of forced back at this stage of the game. OG have just not allowed any cracks to show. And now they're moving in for that second set of racks. Buyback from Skylark, MNT will still be down for 35 seconds. Meanwhile, on the top lane, Matter has been caught out by S4, and he's down for 90 seconds. Jump in from Anna with a Hex onto them all. Sanity's Eclipse is out, and they just tap it out. It's all too much for Adminum here, game one. There's some great wins recently over the last couple of days, but now meeting up against OG. This first match proving to be very, very easy for the side of OG. But like, it uh, is a hero that they do ten. specifically run it, but it's not the greatest versus Batrider because you can get it's isolated. It's an OD. Okay, it's OD. we're going back to I OD. think just the safest pick for them is, yeah, the OD. They have now more setup, okay. and it's a lane-dominating hero. It's just it's pretty good versus the DK. Ooh. Good OG lineup there. And yeah. Astral it does OG seem... Yeah. Is there general consensus that OD have, have won this draft? It seems like, I mean, even, even Pyrian. Oh, she, sorry, I forgot you've been an OG fan this whole OG time. OG fanboy. The yep. whole time. Yeah, I time. Like, a lot of pressure on MNT Bounty Hunter. Yes, it's it's pretty much what we always say. A lot of pressure on Skylark, a lot of pressure, yeah. mostly on MNT though. But yeah, OG <laughs> has a very strong death ball lineup and they have a dazzle in the back line. Tons of sustain. Okay, we'll find out how this does go down. OG, will they edge ever closer to being the only team to have three major titles under their belt? Or will it be Ad Finham? Will they continue to bounce back and show the resilience that they've demonstrated across the course of the major? To answer these questions, it is your casters. It's once again OD and Malini. Five seconds. Thank you very much, Alex. Indeed, we're here getting ready for game two between Ad Finham and OG. The Despite the fact that he's had S4 and Jarex in his face, the PA is still finding the farm. Yeah, maybe next time he will lose that central war battle. Skylark, he's trapped in the creeps. Yeah, it's good spike Carapace actually catching both of them out. MNT and Skylark trying to turn towards No Tail, but No Tail and Fly should have the kill on Skylark, but no Skylark Mangoes turns around with a stun and Skylark. He's gonna be able to walk it out here for the time being with the South and the poor man's shield. He'll keep himself alive. MNT will be taken down though as OG claim first blood, but Skylark will stop himself from dying. As possible, don't give Adfinum mm -hmm. any kills. This is nice though. Adfinum a forced TP reaction to the mid lane, and so they've sent their safe lane up towards the top lane, realizing that No Tail is alone. Skylark with the setup, and Madara and Spawn, and they're there with the jump in. No Tail falling low, tries to play it off with a gust, but they will get the kill. And all in all, just really smart read of the map there from Adfinum. It's very difficult for him to get the kill if they're actually microing, but he will be able to leash a little bit of XP from Jerax. And in the top lane, they had to try and bring that tower down as soon as possible. Bottom lane. Doug, with that Invis rune to set up here, but there is backup from OG. S4 and Fly are in the neighborhood. No tail trying to hold back the backup, but the gust comes through too early. There'll be a telekinesis on S4, dragging him back. Mander is trying to focus down. No tail gets a good crit. Needs one more touch, but there's Fly with the grave, keeping No tail alive. Thug's trying to move forward, and he's got the Astro. The Astro's to finish off the kill, but Thug's now in a bit of potential danger. 
is S4, gets the crush off onto the two of them, a Skylark is there, and with Madara jumping across onto S4, they look to try and find a second, they do end up losing Thug, it's a 1-4-1 at the moment, that finish to running S4, but the stone's there, Fly's there, with the heal, Skylark's taken down, Jax getting himself a double kill, Madara, six stacks on him at the moment, and he's in trouble as well, Fly, giving Jax the vision, they'll be able to find him as well, OG, crushing this attempt from Rapid him on the bottom lane, and they're not done yet, Spartan, amplified up, three stacks of napalm, he's out as well, S4, still alive, and Adfinum lose the whole team! Amazing team play there from OG! I can't quite believe what we just saw, it was absolutely remarkable! So many for it, man. Yeah, so many stacks up. There's not even a play stone on fly, but he's just right-clicking people down non-stop. No drought order to help him out, but a heal bomb right there. It's just constant right-clicks and S4, of course, juking through the trees. And Finham quick to find some vengeance, though no tail on his own up top. Going to try and play his way around this one. Backup is on the way, but not, not quite soon enough. No tail. Very common pick nowadays. I think that's one of the reasons. You just get Ash or the grave, and you'll just die immediately after. Jerax. Oh, he's the got dust. the dust. MNT, I don't think he was quite prepared for this one, and he's going to be lassoed up. Jerax putting him on the cliff, and it's just going to simply laugh in the face of MNT as he takes him down on an easy solo kill, and I think that was just a situation of not checking the bat for the Dustman. Once they take these towers down, they can maybe, maybe hope to make some moves. There's so many of them. Oh, the back line, though. OG could get a potential massive wrap round from the smoke. S4 leading the way, but there is backup from Alphinim. Skylark in the Vendetta will be dusted up. They'll look to focus down onto MNT. They've got the vision laid down, the Amplify. That'll be the first casualty. Can they give themselves anything more, though? That's the question, OG. Alphinim already trying to play their way out of it, though. Skylark is surrounded by S4. Anna and Fly, they beat down a second. OG making sure that Alphinim get nothing out of this push in the mid lane. Let's see what Skylar can get. I mean, he's found Anna, but that really is not the target that he wants to go on on his own. He needs backup, and he does have it round the corner. I want to start to notice Anna coming away from the team, but now spotting out S4 and Jerax as well in the neighborhood. And in fact, it's OG that maybe feel they can go aggressive, but they're going to find out the Nyx Assassin. They've got the vision. Skylark in a little spot of bother, and already the rest of Adfinum, they've left him high and dry. They're straight out of there, so Skylark will be left for dead here as OG clean up the kill. One a minute on that, they would love to get some damage on that T3 tower and break a Rax. There we go with the smoke. They've, they've managed to scout this out as well with the scan. OG know that there's heroes in the neighborhood. MNT gonna be clipped by the dust. They've got the vision, they've got the chase down, and it'll be another kill into the bank of OG. Not a very free. important kill. Onto the tier two, but again, unable to clip any of the heroes of OG and find that kill that they're desperately hunting for to bring themselves back into the flow of this. And S4, in fact, he's hunting himself. Jumps forward, gets Spartan whilst he's trying to go for the D ward. And again, it's kill after kill for OG. So I did mention it earlier, but it was the drums he ended up going for instead of Link. But now, now he's got both Jerax. And Edfino need to get to that point where they... Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Can he get out of this? I mean, he's going to be knocked out by the flame break into the lasso. Thug has got some backup here, and in fact, Thug may be fine. Skylark and MT turning up. Track onto S4, forcing him away. Jarrett is trying to finish off the kill on Thug, and he'll find it. Blinks forward, takes down the OD, and that may not be all that they get. Matter of will jump in onto the back lines, finds Fly, but now he's surrounded by No Tail, Anna, and S4, and Jarrett. They've lost three on Abfinum. Spartan trying to TP his way back to base is only just going to make it. He even got a double crap on his dazzle. That's the only reason that he died. He wasn't able to get his grave off in time because of that. But no matter, they don't need a dazzle with three heroes already down and all on Adfinum, all three of their big cores and Spartan. Oh, and S4, I mean this man. No holding back from the slaughter. Immediately, as soon as any option is seen, he jumps forward. No tail trying for the TP out, and he's going to make it. Skylar can't quite get the turn in time. Tries to stun from the low ground. But my goodness, OG just getting in and out whenever they want. Do they expect this wraparound from OG Adfinum? At the moment, still pushing out that lane. Madara could be in trouble. Jerax has the eyes, immediately jumps across. S4 there for the backup for this bat run and making sure that they've got a good chance to kill. They, they're being a little bit scarce about it. Madara's just going to go for the TPH, the bash there. They don't even need it. The damage is more than enough from OG. Madara down for a good minute or so. Oh, OG very much ready to, to just shove themselves down this bottom lane. Incredibly tanky cores and are ready to hit the front lines and, and up for two skid about up and taking them down again, just shoving it back with the Hurricane Pike, stealing the entail. So Thug 
is starting to stack up a, a nice bit of stolen intel, but there's the jump in Cherex immediately with the lasso dragging about. Ghost for Motel holds up. The sanities will be dropped though, doing huge amounts of damage. Motel's out, but he's got the Aegis ready for round two. Anna kept alive by Fly's Grave. There'll be an Astro holding him back as well, but Athen and they're already one down. MNT trying to focus Motel here with the Shuriken burst, but Anna surviving again. Just this play here from the side. Fly on that dazzle pick. And it's, it's scary as well because they could very well come back this way and find themselves walking into Adfinim. Uh, could also get the jump themselves. MNT. Ah, uh, he's in trouble. S4. He's going to spot him out. Has the gem in hand. Lays down an Amplify. And OG yeah, will take themselves another 420 on the board. I mean, this is looking like such a tough game too for the Ben. Yeah, they might need a gem too to get rid of these Observer Wars on the immediate... Uh, outside of their oh, base. Jax, he's Ooh. just looking to continue the momentum. We'll jump in, we'll be countered immediately though by the Nyx Assassin. Falling low, s going to come in as well. Telekinesis holding him back. Tarn has the stolen crush to hold him underneath the tower. s falling low, but again, flies there with the heals. Madara, he's tried to jump in with the BKB, but they have turned. They've got enough damage to bring down the PA. And Madara's out for a minute. This Does not edge. have buyback. That Silver Edge break hit. Oh, OG. Ready for another attempt on the high ground. But we need something absolutely huge. We need to see Thug start to rack up that stolen intelligence. Go for big sanities. Now we have it jumping forward. Starting to build it up, but Anna actually comes in in return, and in fact with the stun, the crush, the amplify, Anna, but they just smell, Thug, he's out, Jerex comes in with the lasso on the Madara, pops the BKB, PA trying to fight for it all, jumps to fly, but flies graves himself, Madara can't quite finish off the fly kill, multiple buybacks coming out from Affin, and they're trying their best to hold Skylark, ripped to pieces by No Tail. They need to find a kill on this, but at the moment, OG just aren't dying, it's a dieback from Madara. OG just dominating so far in this series. It's going to be GG, 27 to 4, game two. Going the way of OG once again. And Ben, it really does seem so far that OG proving that they're on another level.